hello and welcome okay so in this video we will try to draw a decision boundary for a logistic regression so if you remember logistic regression it was a classification algorithm and we were trying to learn a classifier between two classes it can be also implemented for multiple classes i'll come to that later however currently we are speaking of two classes so we had features of two classes and we had our objects classified and we predicted a decision boundary the equation of this line through logistic regression and uh, we will try to show that now how to draw that how to draw this line so as usual i have already started started my notebook and have imported the prerequisite libraries and also have created the data so if you are following through you can start your notebook you can go to anaconda prompt or your command prompt and type jupyter notebook over there Okay, and then you can start your new notebook, create a new notebook, and follow along with me. So these are the libraries we will need in this uh, <coughs> tutorial. Okay, and this is the data I have created. So let me create a pandas data frame out of it. Okay, data here. Data frame. And so this is the data, sorry, no, this one, so if you remember the data, so these are marks of a student, of different students in two subjects and uh, we have been given the information that whether that student got placed or not placed in some job interview and we will try to learn a classifier from which if the marks are provided we could also predict if the student is going to be placed or not so for our convenience let's let's rename this data frame the columns uh, and let's name it as columns is a list I am overwriting the list. Marks 1, 2, and job. Okay. And this is our new data frame. Okay, now we will do a, so this 1 means placed and 0 means not placed. So let's create a classifier using the linear regression that we have already imported. Logistic regression, sorry, not linear regression. I'll do CLS dot fit and okay. Before that, we need to scale the data. Okay, so we create a scalar and it's okay if you only scale the x part, the so y is 1 and 0, we don't need to scale that. and x transform scalar fit transform I'll take data df and select two columns okay marks one okay it has to be in quotes why is it outside the quotes two okay so i have the transform data now okay and i'll use that to fit in this classifier it and this will train based on this x transform and i have to provide the labels let me provide this will return a panda series which is equivalent to a list and it return this column only which is a panda this is a panda data frame and each column is a panda series okay and it can be it can work over here okay so i jobs so if i want to return it as a two dimension 
uh, or another data frame actually I've written it as a data frame I give double twice I give the box brackets like here okay and something went wrong not in index data here job okay now let's see how it has let's see our prediction Picked on the same data we will do a better project with more data and with trend test speed in a future video but here we are just doing a small one to learn how to draw the decision boundary okay and that is similar to our jobs okay. so it correctly fit the line one one zero 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 one one zero 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 one one okay okay now so now uh, we need the intercept okay that is c is cls dot intercept let's print me and take m one and m2 okay Web. and it's zero colon zero and m2 is see let's see how it is no something wrong okay it should be comma not colon here okay now let's define the function to return the y from x get line y okay and if you pass by x we will implement the same formula that we calculated over here we will return this okay so from x1 it can it can calculate x2 x to be multiplied okay and that's ready so now we need to create some x so let's see our range of uh, x's that we will plot so we will create from the minimum value of this x to the maximum value of this x okay that uh, we get that from x transform all rows in column 0 dot mean to the max of those columns and we will take a small stepping each with a difference of 0 0.1 no it didn't create anything okay why not one should be mean to max okay okay so from minus 1.2 to plus 1.3 with a difference of 0 0.1 so these are my x line line x line x and line c so I can draw the line plc dot plot plc dot yes plot and line x and get line y it is we pass the line x in this function and get the corresponding y values ok something wrong Okay, we have to pass. Okay, here it should not be x1, be x. Okay, so here we have a line 
and let's print our points also over here PLC dot scatter let's print our points so it's okay let's print the ones and the zero points separately so first let's take the ones let's take the ones data df where this is how you write a wire clause in pandas data df job equals equals to one and for that you take this is the selection it returns another data frame and you pass on the marks one you want to take marks one and for the same values you want to take marks two and it should have an underscore and I give it a color here okay something went wrong mm -hmm. these are not the scaled values okay so let's not do that let's just take our x values x transform transform all rows in column 0 and transform all rows in column 1 ok so here you see we have the decision boundary now ok so we could have printed separately we have to separate these points and print in red and green we can separate out from here and take it selectively but more or less you get the idea yeah we have the separator ok so now you know how the decision boundary works so we can have a split like if it's greater than this line if, uh, or if it's less than this line simply we can use the predict but that's how it works if it's greater than this line or it's less than this line ok so ok I hope you enjoyed this and this help, this also helps you get a good understanding of logistic regression thank you